What's up YouTube? AZ Scratchers here with another session. Uh, welcome to Monday, the first day of the week, and we're going to start off a whole new week of uh, Scratchers here. <coughs> now, I was, <coughs> excuse me, I was going to uh, do some power shots today, but when I went to the uh, local market and saw something happen there that made me make a tactical decision to do something different. So, I'm sitting there, and a guy was standing in front of the machine, and he was scratching a uh, one of these tickets, the triple red uh, sevens, triple sevens. And he scratched the ticket, tossed it, clearly didn't win, and then tossed it down on the ground, actually on the ground, and, um, and then walked out. Now, this gives you a tactical advantage. Uh, I have a little term for this. I call it piggybacking, and there's a right way and the wrong way to do this. If somebody does that and they walk out, that means it's fair game. Now, the unethical way to do it is if you watch somebody scratch tickets and they're standing off to the side and you go in and see that they didn't win and you beat them to the machine and then you buy tickets. If they're chasing the, the tickets, that's not cool. But if they walk out the door, it's open season. So anyway, this guy scratched uh, 012 here, not a winner. And so I decided this is going to give me a little, little edge on the odds. So I bought the next four, 11 through 8. We'll see if it does me any good today. So we're dealing with uh, tickets 08 through 011. I'll be scratching them in reverse as they come out of the machine. And the book number is 170447. And the overall odds are 1 in 3.48. Now... Our new little thing I'm doing here is what I call coin of the day, which uh, I kind of borrowed the idea from uh, Joni S. Gatto over in California who does coin of the moment. So, and since I have a coin collection, he's a coin collector, I said, why not? I can have this fun too. So our coin of the day is going to be the scratcher coin I'm using. It's a one ounce bullion silver coin, pure 999 fine silver. And what, it, what I like about this one is what it says on this side of it. Minted from U.S. Strategic stock, Stockpile Silver. Formerly stored at the U.S. Assay Office, San Francisco. And this one was uh, done in 1981. What's it worth? Well, price of silver, what, $25, $26 an ounce? Maybe a couple dollars premium on that. And that's about it. Nothing fancy, but it makes a good scratcher, and I've used it many times on this channel. So... Get those things out of the way. Zoom back out. And we'll get underway here. Right. Get to what you're waiting for. I think that works perfectly. Okay, going with ticket 00011, which is the next ticket in line off the machine after that losing ticket. 8, 38, 33, 40, and 50. And this uh, is a simple match your number game, but if you find the red 7, you win the prize. Get two 7s. Red double 7, you get double the prize. And get a red triple 7, it's triple the prize. And that's pretty much it. So we'll get underway. 8, 38, 33, 40, and 50. 10. And we got 50. There we go, right off the bat. 13. See, I never would have bought this ticket. One, if it wasn't for watching that one guy do that one thing. 49, 42, 19, 20, 34, 36, 18, 31, 35, 12, 45, oh, and this ticket scratch is nice. 22, 21, 43, and 46. So let's see what 50's got for us. Okay. Oh, mother of God, would you look at that. Hundo, 100 on a $10 ticket. That rates mini bells. Wow. You see, the guy that bought that ticket tossed it. He should have bought the next one. Oh, well. 
wasn't his day, but it sure was mine. We are in a profit session right off the bat. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Alrighty. Ticket 10. To do it, to hit a hundo on a $10 ticket. I mean, it's nice when you hit them on 20s, but a $10 ticket? That's nice. That's real sweet. 34, 30, 31, 16, and 14. 11, 23, 5, 6, 49, 1. Can we get a back to back here? 50, 48, 2, 25, 35, 28, 26, 12, 42, 10, 8, 19, 32, and 33. So no back to back, but hey, I don't care right now. Okay. Eight, eleven, thirty-nine, thirty-one, and forty-three. Okay. Eighteen. Thirteen. Three. Twenty-eight. Twenty. Forty-nine. Thirty. Nineteen. One. <clears throat> Twenty-one. 40, 4, 32, 10, 36, 14, 25, 12, 46, and 22. Okay, nothing there. Final ticket of the session. And overall odds being 1 in 3.49, uh, technically uh, this might be a winner. We'll see. 9, 21, 25, 45, and 19. Got a 5, 22, 39, 33, Number one, number six, 24, 20, 32, 44, 26, 50, 35, 15, 14, 10, 8, 13, 49, and final one, 11. Okay, well, only one out of the four uh, did something, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> that is okay. I am good with that. This is definitely a, was a $40 session, and it's a $60 profit on top. So, hey, that, it's been a while. And I can't remember the last time I hit 100 on a 10. Um, 100s on 20s, eh, here and there. Uh, but 100 on a 10, yow. Well, anyway, hope you did enjoy that. I sure did. And I certainly needed that little boost this week after the some of the ones I've had in the past week, as you, some of you, have, hopefully all of you on this channel have seen it. It was uh, quite a stretch there, but uh, anyway, we're back in business. So that's about it. If you did like it, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And until next time, which will be soon, tomorrow in fact, um, take care. I'm going to be trying to find the new $10 uh, uh, Arizona Scratcher ticket that uh, just came out. Uh, I've been looking for it unsuccessfully. And it's uh, called Win It All. There's the... Kind of looks like that. Win it all. Ten dollar ticket. And uh, waiting patiently to find one of my stores in my little town here to bring it in. 
So that's it. Have a great Monday, great evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.